today's top news today's top news today's top news today we are going to start the important news for coming from oil ministry that indian import from russia has almost up by almost 50 times from april that means our almost 10 percent of our import which is an overseas import is almost coming from russia so russia has almost kept iraq on the third position because the one of the main reason why russia is going up in our importing countries uh, list is the they are going us giving us a much more discounted price compared to all other countries and this discounted all price help us to tame down our inflation that is why we are increasing more and more import from russia most of the oil companies from india is starting taking from russian cheap russian oils and see that is what we are trying to do and india as a country is trying to see first is self interest putting all the geopolitical issue afterwards the reason is simple no in this crisis situation we have to see that our inflation remains in a control and that is the main reason why we are importing more and more russian oil correct now another important news came from Accenture that Accenture has released its quarter through result and it is it revenue is around 6.2 billion dollar now which is almost 22 percent year on year rise now that is a very good result because understand one thing our IT companies like TCS, Infosys, ZCL, most of the major countries in India actually follows essential research. So essential of once the essential result is out, no, and if it remains good, no, there is a positive uh, impact on our IT stocks also. And if you have seen yesterday, yesterday all the IT stocks were up. Correct. So let let hope that result comes for the ITC. Uh, sorry for the it companies remains good uh, in the next quarter now talking about the global market and before we start with the global market you must be seeing my videos every day related to top news and insight over the stock market before the market open so do subscribe and like this video because it means a lot to me and it motivates me to give you better and better content every day so now talking about global market Dow Jones is up almost 194 points and Nasdaq was almost 179 points up. and the result is that yes some of the we can say that that can bounce is coming across the world once after a big fall but however there is no major reason still global economy is in a problem however one positive silver lining is that now oil is coming down and you know that oil actually was around 109.5 yesterday but now it is around 11 dollar then also it is quite lower compared to its high and almost average 124 125 dollar which was prevailing almost two to three weeks back so hope let's see that oil gives better and better good positive indicators because you know that oil is the major component which india is using uh, and that is what creating a fiscal, fiscal deficit widening. Now talking about fiscal deficit, no Indian fiscal deficit came around 13.4 billion, which is quite lower compared to the earlier 22 point billion that was from October to December 2021. Now this 13.4 billion is between January to March. Now that is lower and one of the main reason why it was lower is the moderation in trade deficit and the lower outgo of the primary income what is the primary income primary is an income is more salary and bonus and all that level lower outgo of primary income and the result is there is a fall in the fiscal deficit now that is very good thing and again one of the other reason is that lower crude oil prices which you are getting from the russia and the current fall in the crude price may help in next quarter uh if we can increase more less of a de trade deficit so let's see all this is get, actually having a positive impact in our indian economy now talking about us bond yield us bond yield was around uh, 3.10 now it is slightly lower compared to the 3.5 which was there earlier so slowly and gradually it is coming down and the dollar index is holding around 104.2 uh, something now that is why you no know, till uh, rupees is on a weaker side 
and let's see whether Lupi is able to maintain his ground around the 78 to 79 range because no at the end of the day rupee also cannot be strengthened unless the us gets us dollar gets we can because we understand one thing because the bond yield is increasing in us and that's why money is flowing from the developing countries to much more safer heaven so that is why you can see that bond yield has gone up in us about 3% now talking about domestic air uh, traffic passenger well, it's a positive news that air traffic passenger has jumped to 1.2 crore in May. One of the main reasons you know that now, actually, COVID crisis is on, almost behind us. Yes, there are a few cases coming now. Again, it is starting going up, but somehow major blow which uh, with COVID wanted to give is already given. And that's why air traffic is quite normal. So it's a surge of almost 11% compared to the preceding one. And that's why you have seen that Indigo and all the established airlines have increased the market share, but Indigo has increased up to 58%. That is like it is coming to its monopoly position. But now new airlines are coming and of course Air India has started its own journey again. Uh, even Rakesh Junjunwala Aksara Airlines is coming. It has actually you know, uh, taken delivery of its unit first uh, Boeing. 347 uh, aircraft so that is a good news so let's see see anyways airlines need more competition no? otherwise it will be a monopoly of uh, indigo that we don't want so i know this business is quite tough but yes hopefully air india including jet airways now started and also aksara are able to cover the ground loss which is actually aksara is a new airline but yes Jet Airways in Air India has lost a lot of ground, so hopefully they are able to recover now. Now talking about India reports almost 13.5% rise in engineering export that is 9.79 billion in May 22. Now that is a good rise and see slowly and gradually our export is coming in a proper mojo level because you now one thing is that if really want India wants to dominate the world more and more engineering and all the exports should happen to the developing countries and to the developed countries. Now, CBI has registered a case against Kapil Wadwan and Dheeraj Wadhan for the alleging 17 banks for that you know that DHFL fraud what happened around tune of 34,615 crore. That is the biggest ever uh, banking fraud prop by a CBI agency. Now you also know how DHFL actually you know uh, literally you know looted that uh, Indian money. So that is what is coming now. Everything you know that it goes to square one and that is what CBI is doing now. They are going to allege the complete case and see what was wrongdoing happened from the DHFL management. Anyways we discussed a lot earlier about this. So but yes, we have to understand when we invest in a stock, we should be aware of their management. A corrupt manager, no, management can bring stock down. So once you, suppose you invest in a stock and if you are able to know that yes, the management is not so good or not, that their ethics are not so great, no, then you have to think about existing stock, even though if you are in a loss. Because otherwise, this type of thing happen, the stock may go down to zero also. Now talking about Shiram Group companies, now merger of the Shiram Group companies that is uh, Shiram Transport Finance Corporation is Shiram City Union Finance is going to happen by September 2022, by end of September 2022 and almost over 500 bunches are going to merge. Okay, so now that will be a very big in entity and at a MZFC level, so hope of once the merger happens and synergy comes into uh, the merger entity and they are able to deliver better returns to the uh, their shareholder. Over the years, Shiram Twins has done very well. However, because after this news and also the global market fall down, there is some slack in their performance, but let's see, hope they are able to deliver much better result in future. Now talking about HUL, HUL AGM, 89th AGM happened yesterday and Chairman Mission Nitin Paranjay told that yes, 
actually is in a good footing and now actually is able to uh, reap all the benefits what the develop what the developing country like india is having correct a growth growth pace is having from last decades and they are go and so india is going to have a good pace in future also so actual is going along with the uh, our nation growth and yes actually out of 10 so whatever see understand you have to understand it's a fmcg product okay so out of 10 product consumed in by a household almost nine product of actual is there so this is how actual is dominating indian market and yes overall if you see the share price of actual it has given a very good result over the years that's why even i recommend actual at this level but yes actual has performed very good and they are uh, CMD is telling that yes, they are in a very good growth trajectory. Now talking about GST Council, GST Council actually was thinking of uh, uh, putting a, a general sales tax on cryptocurrency and that was on the highest side that is 28%. However, now there is a new caveat coming that no, they may delay this process because they want the central to first verify the legality of cryptocurrency whether it is a legal currency or not and all that and also uh, the not lot of uh, angle need to be see what about data mining what are the exchange control and everything so they are still waiting from the central government to come up with the report and tell about legality of the say, crypto and once it is done then only they are going to levy a tax on it however sita Raman already told that they are uh, almost 30 percent tax bracket will be levied on the cryptocurrency if you trading in the cryptocurrency so in a way cryptocurrency is an uh, expensive asset class and you know that the way cryptocurrency has fallen from almost 3.5 trillion dollar to almost below 1 trillion uh, dollar now that is not a good sign and it is a risky asset so yes government taking lot of uh, steps from their side that yes, this currency is being properly controlled and uh, regulated. But however, the way the cyclical nature of cryptocurrency is there, no government and the RBI is still not convinced whether they should go ahead and have a regulated cryptocurrency market. Now, talking about OMC, OMC has written to the uh, government earlier BPCL, HPCL, everyone has written to the government that they are incurring lot of loss in their uh, basically oil business and the reason is simple that there is a cap on the oil prices and also the what is happening even though the, there is a higher oil price they are not increase the oil price at a petrol pump level and that is a almost they are using 15 rupees per diesel and 10 rupees per petrol or uh, the basically they are giving money out of their pocket and as a result there is a balance sheet press again they are saying that they want an expansion and that is why due to expansion plan again more pressure is going to have on their balance sheet so they have written to the government that please do something and the government is government has only few options one is that they may tell uh, oil companies to okay go ahead and uh, keep petrol prices as equal to or as uh, based on the design or formula design what they have done with the global fuel prices correct now if they do then it's a positive for omc otherwise no omc is currently building a lot because of all this so uh, see one has to understand now every action of government has a reverse option uh, action on the the sector correct so the way way government is trying to control and government has a, its own reason because they want to control inflation correct so that is why they uh, actually cap a cap on uh, a petrol prices also they are lowered the excise duty but somehow all this is not helping till to get a proper result and omc is still suffering losses so guys this was all about today's news and if you like this video you now do subscribe to my channel and also now I am running a fundamental webinar where you can understand how to compound money correct, through stock action 
and through long term investing. And if you want, really want to understand all this, you can attend my free masterclass, which is going to happen this Sunday. The link is given below in the comment box. You can click it and do it. And I see you soon tomorrow with daily news, top news, and the news which will make an impact in your thinking of stock market. Correct. So see you soon tomorrow. Bye.